Daughter, please know and understand that this spiritual warfare is real and intensifying. This also means that you also have to intensify in your prayers and how often you pray. As you pray, you need to double that. Otherwise, you will struggle and you will find it difficult to come into prayer at all. The enemy is not going to relent and you too must not relent. You must raise a standard and my grace and spirit will help you do this. Be very wary of all moves of destruction, even the well-meaning ones, for it is very net in the hour to focus on other things. If whatever gets you off course does not point you to me in any way, then it is a distraction. Everything you do now, moving forward until I come, must be very intentional and strategic. Be very selfish with your time and present to unnecessary matters. Give all your focus to me in prayer and in my word. If you want to stand firm in me, to withstand what lies ahead. You need an increased measure of faith, and this is why the secret place must be where you dwell through and through. This is where I am doing a work in you, bringing you up in preparation to stand as my end-time army, carry my glory to the ends of the earth. Everything you see happening all around the world, is serving as a warning to those who have refused to hear, and it will only get worse. Prepare for the new that is now upon you, that will shake the foundations of what many lives have been built upon. Many are already losing what they treasure so dearly, without ever giving any thought to me, or where they now find themselves. Hard choices will have to be made, and some will turn to me, while others yet will not call upon me. This is all mercy on my part, but soon the full judgment will power forth, and any fence-sitting and sitters will have to make a choice, and a first choice at that, for some will not even have the opportunity. When you continue to harden your hearts, this choice will soon be made for you, by your lack of decisiveness. Many don't have an idea of what is in store for them, or what is coming. My word says that these days have never been since the creation of this world, and they are never will be. This means that even in your wildest imagination, you cannot conjure up what lies ahead. In my mercy, I am calling many to me, to serve them from verifying this truth for themselves for they will wish for death, that will be nowhere to be found. Oh, how foolish and hardened man has become. Is this not what the world likes to say? What you don't know won't hurt you. No, this will not only hurt you, but kill you and condemn you to eternal damnation. Let those with ears hear my words, that have been spoken to the ends of the earth that you may come under my wings before all hell breaks loose and is operating freely on earth. These demons hate you beyond what you can imagine, and they will do with you whatever they feel like. Come to me while my arms are still open wide, and I will gladly receive you. Forsake all that you see, for it will soon be no more. I died so that you may live. This is the opportunity you now have to choose me, your Lord and Savior. For in me there is no death. You have only but a little time left. Make it count. Choose wisely, and I will receive you. To my faithful ones, remain in a state of repentance and readiness, for very soon you will arise as the flood comes rushing in. Abide in me at all times, and be filled with my spirit. You will soon understand all that I have been telling you. You will soon see it, for you will be it to bring my harvest home. My shalom envelops you and abides in you, 
to remain in my counsel amid the darkness. You will know no fear, only peace, to prevail to the very end. Great is my faithfulness to you all.